Right, everyone, we're collector here. All right, another Friday stream. Be on for about two hours. Might be on a bit longer. I've been doing a bit longer lately, haven't I? But um, yeah. But yeah, at least two hours anyway. So if you're new to this channel, which some of you might be, because some of you have been coming over from Weapons and Stuff Night Trees uh, channel from the stream we did together, you may not know what I do. So my name's Weapon Collector, so that pretty much explains it. But uh, yeah, I collect any of that kind of stuff. But I also do test videos on weapons or armor, make armor. I make weapons, I make walking sticks, I make self-defense items, I do reviews on stuff. Yeah, there's all stuff like that. If you ever want to support me, because without support, some of the things I wouldn't really be able to do, there's a Patreon account what you can join for 79p a month or $1 a month. Everyone who joins Patreon gets a name on that board, on that uh, picture frame there, and... That's displayed on every single one of my videos. So you can sort of advertise your channel that way. One dollar or more. If you shop at eBay, Amazon or Gearbest, I've got affiliate links. And if you use those affiliate links to buy anything from those websites, and I mean anything, I get paid for it, basically. So you could buy anything you want and, and at no extra cost to you, I would get a percentage of what you spend. So it can be up to 10%. There's also PayPal donations if you wanted to, and you just have to ask me for the details for that. And I've also got some merchandise if you want it. So there's these mugs. Um, you get that logo on T-shirts. You can get this logo on T-shirts and mugs and hoodies, same as that one. But I've also got stickers. There's one there, there. That's the one with four of them on. And then there's one there and one there. So you get stickers of this. I've got loads of merchandise out if you want it. The link for all these things are in the description. So if you want the PayPal, that's in the description. If you want the eBay, Gearbest and Amazon links, they're in the description. And the link to the merchandise is in the description as well. All right? So I'll come over and see who's on now. I'll let you know when I can see you. See who's on I put that on mute, put this on to pop out chat. Oh, I'll let you know in a second. Put on the live chat. So we've got on then Krylon, Leonard, Rich, Liam, Marcus, Charles is a new one by the looks of it. Um, you've been on before, Charles? Z not Z, Peach, Rob. Iron Man and Marcus. You right, everyone? Yeah, that was a proper decent um, cookery blade that Stu sent me, wasn't it? This is it here. Can't actually remember seeing what he what happened to the handle. Um, I've looked at the handle for these, actually. They're really quite weird. Uh, it actually would be better. But I think a handle you could put on yourself would be better than the one it had. It had quite a weird square handle. But I'm tempted to... Possibly take the black paint off. I'm not sure about that yet. And I might put a fucking finger grooved D guard handle on this. Very thick as well. So that looks like fit five, maybe six mil thick on that. Yeah. All right, everyone. Yeah, I think so, Peach. I think it is a plastic handle and it's quite a weird square looking one. So something you could put on there yourself would probably actually be better. I'm just going to see if there's any comments on there. No, not comments, sorry, questions. No, it's all just um, everyone saying hello. No, I'm sorry, boo, you right, mate? I'm the type is on. You right? Yeah, so, um, yeah, some nice early uh, birthday presents, wasn't it, Leonard? Yeah. And he, um, he must have been listening to what I've been saying to send me these arrows. Because partly why I never shoot my bow is I've never got any bloody arrows. So... These will definitely mean I can actually um, shoot that. My actual birthday is on the 29th, so it's not actually my birthday yet. So 
the name was all early, but I do appreciate anyone who has said happy birthday. Um, but yeah, my actual birthday is on the uh, 29th of April. Um, right, Gab, nice crossbow. Cheers, mate. Which one? That one or that one or that one? I have got another just there, so I can get it. Don't forget to get your merchandise. Ah. Uh, Got the uh, horror zone sitting just there. It's the easiest place to put it in the minute. Leonard said, what type of bow have you got, Mike? I've got, I don't actually know the make of it. I've got three bows. I've got a, I think it's a 32 or 35 pound compound bow. And I've also got two homemade bows that Malk made around about 30 pound or something 35 pound one is pretty much a long bow this is um about two inches short of an iron and the other one is another sort of long bow that's takedown so try not to sneeze the handle can actually take apart so it becomes you know half the length then yeah so that's the three bows i've got uh pinks and arrows look like the ones i have so it must be good yeah, I got him to send me them, wasn't it? He, I think I'd mentioned it in one of my um in one of his videos, but yeah, that'll be very handy, and I should be able to use them in the um, shooting competition. Now I might save them for that. I'm the typer, so I've got to say, say the stream with you and Liam was great, and I had a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed it too. Now, cheers, mate. Yeah, I did enjoy it actually. Yeah, it was good. They're quite odd to do the um the hangout. Uh, ones like that because it's like being on a walkie talk you have to actually make sure you stop talking and let the other person talk otherwise you sort of i think you lot can hear if we're both talking over each other i think you can still hear us both but whoever's talking last it's their picture so you have to be quiet while the other one's doing something Liam mentioned that and he sort of tapping about switches the camera over to you <laughs> I'm as part of a nice array of weapons on the side of my Glad you know it's still, yeah, I keep get I keep doing that like now. I keep thinking oh because they all just sat there anyway. I keep thinking I might as well get them out, put them uh I'll eventually have to make a display for them or put them up somewhere. Uh them ones. The Warhammer deserves to go up somewhere. Um and the dagger will go up that Z not Z got got me. The spikes They'll go up somewhere. Yeah. What I plan to do eventually is probably, uh, I, I should be able to do it soon. Don't do another display there where that jacket is. But yeah, you notice, I'm glad someone noticed it. Either. Then I said, Mark's bow looks superb. He does some good old um, bows, doesn't he, Leonard? Yeah. How oh, did you go for a minute, Liam? I, I missed your bit saying that. Connor said, What is the TV license? Is it a tax on each of the TVs, right? It's, I think you can technically have one TV license to cover all of your TVs as long as they're color. You can get away with black and white ones, or if you're an OAP, you know, over a certain age, you don't need one. And it's pretty much what pays for our BBC. Yeah, the BBC is paid for by the um license fee, basically. But I think you can't just not. You know, people say they don't watch BBC, so they don't pay. But I don't think you can really do that. But I'm not sure. I was like, yeah, moving stuff around in the knife drawer does that. Who was you, who was you saying that to? I missed a bit there. <laughs> uh, John said, have you seen my contender for the carton cutting and pickle chipping challenge? I think I have, John. I think I'll I'll go and comment on that. I um I'm pretty sure I watched that earlier. Yeah. When I said, can you do some vertical, vertically to the right of the window? I probably could. Yeah, down there. Yeah. Um. I'll have to see, but yeah, a couple of the smaller things. Uh, would fit in there. A marker said, if you don't watch live TV, you don't have to pay it. Oh yeah. I'll tell you what I was getting mixed up with there because I think some people it all depends what you class as live you see because I know some I've heard people saying about live as in um 
like watching live boxing, watching live football. Others say live is watching the standards. <laughs> and I think they mean that, you know, if, if you, yeah, if you, you don't have, don't need a TV license if you watch like the BBC player, is it? Uh, Pete said, treat yourself and stab a water bottle with that stiletto. <laughs> I will do. Mark said, cry on you pay one fee, something like 130 pound a year. Somebody said, Mike, my uncle and auntie are unfortunately going to split up. My uncle is a dentist, my auntie is a manicurist. They always fought two for now. Yeah, that's, that's his first phone comment, and he's putting a bloody <laughs> joking. Actually, it wasn't, was it? Burn my mouth now. Yeah, that's weird, isn't it? iPlayer demands you confirm you have a license before you watch anything. Yeah, but technically you should be able to watch that. Oh, but then live player has some live stuff on, don't it? Right, I'll try and catch up. Rob said to cry on it's where the BBC charge us to watch the same repeats time and again. Pete said, I don't watch BBC, I'm not into that. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I wonder how many people would get that joke. <laughs> Trust you come out of something like that. T T said jumble sale boo. It's got me laughing again. Um that's I read Marcus it didn't I about the live TV bit. Rob said it's disgusting that the BBC can use the police. A private bully boy to enforce a charge yeah it is fucked up really and demented yeah they you know very weird at what they do i'm the type of oh, i just wanted to check check it out here a bit like the stream um i'll watch it tomorrow wish you a good evening and stream liam if you're on cheers to you as well everyone goodbye see you later mate <laughs> John said those Powerade bottles are thick as hell. Yeah, I've, I don't bother cutting them bottles because they're hard to cut. And I don't think I'll bother cutting too many milk cartons either now because the one I had was really fucking thick. Um, yeah, but anything like Coke bottles and that, I found they're quite hard to cut and not a lot of um, not very enjoyable. Cutting milk jugs is lovely. You, know, you, can, really, you can really cut them up nice. And because they, they've got a lot of water in, they stay in place as well. Leonard said, what's Zombie on to Zombut on tonight? Uh, he's just he's sat in the summer out of a sheet over his head, so <laughs> Iron Man said, Mike, do you think a hundred medieval English bow archers could take out a hundred running zombies? Um depending on the distance, yes, I think they might be able to. And and depending whether they have to be hit in the head. If it was because some zombies, you just have to sort of kill them again, don't you? If you just had to kill them again, possibly. Because the difference is the running zombies. As soon as they're the running type zombies, I think they're almost like superhumans then. You know, because you can only kill them by... If they're, if they're running zombies and you can only kill them by destroying their brain, they're actually probably worse than normal people, aren't they? Not superhumans that way. But the old style zombies, they were so slow... You know, they was like shambling corpses, weren't they? So, but yeah, I don't know about that. It's quite a hard one, that. But yeah, possibly, possibly, depending on the distance they was away. If they could get a couple of shots off each before they got to them. Liam said, how else could the BBC afford to pay to cover up the child abuse? Yeah, exactly. And not say, if you have the capability to watch live TV, then you have to pay the license. It doesn't matter if you watch it or not, the bastards. Yeah, well, that's 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 it, really, isn't it? Twenty-two watching, twelve lives get to it, lazy people. Mm -hmm. Liam, yeah, that's good, mate. Um, Pete said, "I can finally say I am the law." <laughs> My M72 law came today, just over there. Ah, nice. That was quick as well. That must have been like next day, wasn't it? That's proper decent. You'll have to do a video on that. Yeah, cheers, Liam. I did see it popped up in my in the corner. I have a pop up on my computer when you when when any, when anyone messaged me on Twitter, it actually pops up in the corner, and I can read it there. Well, some of it anyway. Then I said, "Did everyone see the size of the rat market strap?" Yes, I forgot about that. Yes, yeah, fucking thing was massive, wasn't it? I forgot about that. Yeah, that was big. Roland said in some states they have 
the entertainment tax on things that are streamed on the Xbox, uh, but not if you buy the game. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird the things you can be taxed on, isn't it? Irishman said, did they ban pigeon shooting in the UK this week? I'm not sure. Funnily enough, I, I don't normally watch his videos, but out of curiosity, I watched some of English shooting's video about it earlier, and I couldn't really understand what was going on. Because also I'd heard the Chris Packham stuff this morning. Uh, so, yeah, I um, I didn't really know what's going on. I, I meant to read your message, Liam. Then I said, watch the blob last night for the first time. Superb recommendation. I'm like, ah, oh, nice. It, look at this, what I had written down to remind myself, to, to remind you lot about. Yeah, make sure you watch the blob. We won't talk about it tonight. But make sure you watch the blob. I've, I've put two links on that video so you can watch it. Because um, I would like to discuss that with you lot. I'm still trying to work out which character I'm going to dress as for the uh, for the discussion. <laughs> yeah, I'm slightly restricted, but I've got an idea. Glad you liked it, Leonard. That's why I recommended that one, because I thought people who hadn't seen that would like it. It's very good effects for its day. Yeah, you're right there, Liam. Yeah, the remake, the Blob remake is the only remake other than The Thing I like more than the original. Yeah, it's very rare to get a remake better than the originals, unless unless the originals are very old and didn't really have the capability to do very good um, special effects. Then uh, he said, girl, I knew I had terrible acne. It wasn't the look she got that upset her the most. It was the blind people started reading her face. <laughs> but so. Pete said, it opens and closes. Also, it cocks and dry fires. Very nice. I oh, man. Remind me when when the um, stream starts going a bit slow, I'll do it then. I'm going to have to try and catch up first. If I go and do that, I'll be way behind. But I will do it. I said, Leonard, I think it was one from the Bad Things video, fatter than... The one on oh the the fucking yeah the fucking that rat was big Marcus. Me machine you're right. T two you're right. He said I was watching the channel on YouTube just before about wildcats in Britain. Anyone believe there are any? I do. I think there are. Irishman said to Marcus they should just have had a shooting session for him. Pigeon shooting. Is that gone? It's the shooting I like the most. I'm so boo. You need a license to shoot pigeons and crows. Oh, that you will need a license to shoot pigeons and crows. Pete said, Who's on the blob? Um, can't remember name now. Shawnee Smith is. <laughs> Crylon said the one link wasn't for the US. Ah, oh, that's a pity. You'll have to have a you should be able to get it somewhere though. Have a look, Crylon. Keep looking about. When's I said, Wear a red morph suit, Mike, then you could be the blob. <laughs> I don't reckon I could do that one. But I have got an idea. John said, do you all think the Tramontina Bowie will do well? For those who have seen the powerful bottle, uh, being, power aid bottle being done. It might do. My um, Tramontina Bowie, I actually reprofiled it and that and um, sharpened it. And it goes through milk jugs. Lovely. But, yeah, those power aid bottles and that, they are fucking hard to cut, though. Will, you right, mate? Marco, why would you collect weapons? I just do, mate. I just like them. I've always liked them. That's all I can say, really. I've always liked weapons. I, I class collecting weapons as no different than someone who collects dolls or cars or or clocks or watches. Do you know what I mean? Just collection, isn't it? Irishman said, The Blob, is that the movie about the woman who goes mental for a few days every month? That's it. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Mark said, Thomas Crown Affair remake shit. Get away remake shit. Most of them they are. Yeah, that's what I mean, Marcus. You very, very, very rarely get a remake better than the original. But, um, yeah. The Blob and The Thing are probably the only examples I can think of. Mark said, are you preparing for something special? Not really, mate. No. No, just I've, I've been collecting things like that since I was about 12. Then I said he's seen a native wildcat. Nice. Yeah, I've never seen anything, but I totally believe it. Because it's just a cat. It's just cats that have got, um, you know, released and they've bred and, you know what I mean? You know, big cats. Me, Machine, did you see about the crossbow shooting in Wales? They'll try and ban them soon. 
no is that that's not well unless it was the one about the old man memes and then i might have seen it yeah old man gets shot on the roof or something that seemed really demented that did pete said the market what do you mean end of the world yeah john said have you seen my slice through aluminium cans no i don't think i have I think a lot of it's technique. You must have a good technique, John. I'm, I'm not really. You can tell by my technique. I just do a back, uh, but you can get. I get nice slices doing that. Marco, there. Uh, Peter's just answered that question just below. I was going to ask a good question. What's the shittiest remake? Yes, they are. Liam, that's definitely right. They're the fucking fog. Oh no! I'll tell you what. Yeah, the fog, or. Oh, there's, a, there's some remakes I've refused to watch. I would never watch the Assault on Precinct 13 one either. I would never watch that. Um, what's the other ones? There's, there's a few remakes I actually, you couldn't pay me to watch. Iron Man said to Leonard, I heard that Wolves were reintroduced parts of Scotland. Isn't that true? Yeah, I've heard, I've heard that. Dumbo Sarbusha went to the docks today test came back and he said i have a bladder infection he said you're in trouble <laughs> yeah the fog is terrible terrible and it um fog remake is terrible burn up rage said hey bud how's it going yeah not bad mate good to see you on might have to put the fucking slow mode on even slower in a minute because this is going so fucking um quick i can't really um keep up <clears throat> um when's i said looks like you were saluting a german leader then mike what did I do? <laughs> I didn't even notice. I was I think the Wicker Man remake is. And there's another one. Yeah, the Wicker Man. Yeah, that is fucking terrible. Mark said, Len, get a, let it, get a cold steel walking stick. That'll demolish anything that comes at you. Yeah, definitely. War of the Worlds. I didn't think that was as bad as some of the other ones that they just mentioned. Super Travis Bickle, you're right, mate. You had an Italian job. I've never seen that one, but yeah. <laughs> Ghostbusters remake. But yeah, that fucking Wicker Man one, that is abysmal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the bees. Oh, you got the bees. <laughs> yeah. I've done some research on fighting, uh, no fighting, and had a slight training. Maybe it's that. It could be. I literally have no technique when it comes to cutting things. I only started cutting bottles about a year ago um so yeah uh but yeah i think if you have a technique you can be quite good but yeah electro's got a good bottle cutting technique but i've said only the only really good version of war of the worlds is the jeff wayne prog rock prog rock album t2 said leonard what did you see oh about the the cat like i said he loves war of the worlds he said, not the bees. Uh, they're in my eyes. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking terrible, isn't it, that film? Dumbo Sarbu said, out of all of the dead movies, I'm the only one who thinks Day of the Dead is the best. I do like Day of the Dead, actually, a lot. But I, mine is um, Dawn of the Dead. Um, and then probably a toss-up between the remake of Night of the Living Dead. Because actually, the, I think the remake of Night of the Living Dead is good. And possibly better than the original. I don't know how controversial you lot would think that is. Uh, but that was with full consent of George Romero. He even asked Tom Savini to direct it, didn't he? And all that. And yeah. Then not Z said to a weapon stuff, he agrees, and it's only one thing that's even close to the book. Yeah, Land of the Dead. I'll tell you what, I'm sorry, I've got to do it. I'm going to have to put the slow mode on ever so slightly longer if I can do it. I can remember how to do it. Don't type for a minute. Give me a chance to just do something here. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just can't fucking keep up today. Right, it's on slightly longer. Um, weapons I've said watch diary and survival of the dead recently. I thought those were not as bad as people say Yeah, they're all right, aren't they? Um They're worth watching aren't they? Um, yeah, 
they're not the best of the bunch, but I do think they're worth watching. I must admit, I have only ever watched those two once each, so whereas the, the others I've watched loads of times. Stu said, I just looked up the pigeon ban. It appears Natural England has put the ban in place on approximately 10 species, and we'll give specifics on Monday the 29th for bastards. Yeah, it's fucked up, isn't it? What is Natural England, then? How have they got the right to do that? Or is they the ones who can say, you know, that's a pest and that's not? Found out, Rage, I guess everyone likes chatting. Um, well, that's why you're so busy. Yeah, that's it. When when I can tell it's people chatting to each other, I don't. I you don't don't mind me doing that, do you? I don't tend to read them out if people are just chatting to each other. But um, I read some of them anyway. Then not D said Frankenstein's monster. That was a remake, wasn't it? <laughs> I like that. That's quite a good one. <laughs> Pete said I like Dawn of the Dead more if the people weren't so fucking dumb. The remake. Yeah, I'll tell you the other thing they do in the remake. Now the Dawn of the Dead remake is not terrible either. But they do that classic thing of making quite a few of the characters highly unlikable. And they're the ones you're supposed to like. It's different, you know, with the classics. It's um, a classic horror. There's people you dislike, they're the baddies. There's people you like, they're the goodies. And they don't mix that up. And then they started, films started having this um, thing where they would start having goodies that you hated that, that doesn't make any sense to me you, why would you want to dislike you know and i found half the people in there you know they weren't all goodies were they but do you know what i mean there was a lot of characters in there that i didn't like your mother said for some reason it's easier to get weapons more than body armor helmets and modern shields do you have good protection tools company um, well, the thing is, for all of that kind of stuff, I just go to eBay and get surplus, either sort of army or police stuff. The best place for it, really. If you want to get new kind of stuff, it's either is really fucking expensive or hard to find. Bend up, Ray, till I walk with a cane. I recently took up cane fighting. Have you done any of that? It's a great weapon. No, I've never trained in anything, really. I've, I've read some books about some stuff some sort of fighting techniques, but I've um, never really practiced it. But a walking stick or a cane is very fucking handy, isn't it? Mark said, check out City of the Dead, 1960 on YouTube. You'll crap yourself. <laughs> Great old film. I'll look that up. I may have actually watched that, Marcus, but I'll, I'll have to check that I have. Remember, I said, yeah, I also really like Night of the Living Dead remake due to it having a much higher budget and special effects than the original. Yeah, well, that's why it's a bit better, isn't it, Liam? It's... um. It's not due to, um, you know, just had, you know, more, as you said, more money put into it. And it's probably partly what um, George Romero might have done if he had that money. Mother said 13 is getting a remake too. What's that, mate? Am I being weird? Am I being stupid there? Am I missing, <laughs> am I missing something there? T2 said to Leonard, well, must have been an amazing sight. Oh, about the cat. I said, oh, did I mention a really underrated slasher film I watched the other day called The Prowler about a guy in World War II uniform who went around murdering teenagers? Now, that's another one I might have seen, but sometimes I forget. I'd have to have a look. That definitely rings a bell, though, for me. Mark said, rings a bell with him. Dumbledore Boo said, I never liked Dawn of the Dead. Makeup was not that good. Um, I felt uh, so low budget, even the M16 were a 2 2 long rifle semi autos. I've tried to like it, but can't bring myself to enjoy it. Yeah, you know, that's, that's just that, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah. I've always enjoyed that one. But yeah, oh, I can understand what you mean there. I'll tell you what, I. The Dawn of the Dead commentaries are quite good with um, Tom Savini. I think, I think that's the only one I've heard. Or if it was Tom Savini and George Romero, I can't remember. But um, Prep for it, right, mate? Rich said, Sword is going well tomorrow. I'm using my finishing hammer, getting the blade all finished uh, into the finished dimensions. Hopefully, I won't burn up the blade or anything else stupid. Yeah, I'll be looking forward to seeing that, Rich. 
Leonard's a favorite film director, Mike. Sergio Leone, mate. Yeah. Um, modern day. Off the top of my. Oh, so uh, there's a couple actually. Sergio Leone, John Carpenter, possibly uh, Quentin Tarantino is quite good. But the funny thing is, Sergio Leone influenced John Carpenter. Sergio Leone and John Carpenter both influenced Quentin Tarantino. So they're all very sort of connected and similar anyway, don't they? But yeah. Yeah. And there may be more. But that's off the top of my head, like instant. <coughs> Alex, right, mate. Oh, that game from PlayStation 2. Your mother. Yeah, I, I do know about that. I wasn't sure. Sometimes I think, you know, does he mean that or is it a film I've not heard of? Tito's with the Leonard. I would have had a fright to it, especially at the time of the morning. Yeah, exactly, mate. Iron Man said, for really top-notch heavy armor, go Russian. They have a vest that protects the torso, neck, shoulders, groin, all lightweight, titanium Kevlar. Cost around 900 quid, very pricey, but second time. Yeah, if you've got the money, that's the way to go. If you've got the money and you feel you need it, that's worth doing. But um, if you if you just want something cheap that you may never use, second, you know, surplus on eBay. JT, you're right, mate. Pizza, did I mention the film I watched the other day called Growler? <laughs> That hot milf who went around in a maid outfit, fucking teenage. That one I have seen. <laughs> then said, "Did you get an Easter egg in my in the end, Mike?" Yes, I did, and I had it for my fucking breakfast as well, Leonard. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't bring myself to shoot it. I ate that for my breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> John said, "Why, man? Yeah, we don't want to get shot or stabbed in the donga." <laughs> Marcus said to Liam, wasn't there a guy in the RAF during World War II who was a serial killer during blackouts? Um, that's what we rang a bell. And that sounds interesting, though, Marcus. Double Sabu said, Marcus, I know, mate. If you look at the M16s in the movie, they were dummy mag and the smaller 2-2 mag inside that. Well, that's the thing. I suppose if you if you can't not see that, then it would probably, probably annoy you. Do you know what I mean? Rums, I've said to Marcus... I don't know. There was a story of World War Two German World War Two Germany about a butcher who cut up kids as meat. Richard said, Was that a film or a porno? Sounded like a porno to me, Rich. That's what I that's what I saw anyway. <laughs> Mark says, sorry, mate, I went off half cock. I didn't realise you were talking about that. Actually, in Mother Russia, we don't wear armour, it wears you. That that Russian armour we saw, I don't know who wears that the ground when you fall over wearing it peach said, oh, i'm sure that could be a real film i bet it is i bet it 100 is peach i'm sorry but said, marcus i think imdb weapons database covers it too cob vevo you're right mate yeah not bad got this shotgun <coughs> you're not from stuff down now Fucking won't fucking cut now. <laughs> Fuck him out of that. I'm not. I'm not actually kidding. It's jammed. <laughs> it has a. It has a thing where it where they deactivated it. Oh well. You'll have to get me to do it next time now. Oh, fucking jammed. <laughs> I'll sort that out. It's got a, this where they've deactivated. It used to do that, and I managed to fix it. Donna, you're right. Jumbo Sabu said, Mike, have you watched Once Upon a Time in London yet, mate? It's pretty good. That young Frankie Fraser. Ah, no, I've not seen that. That sounds quite good, though. Nah, the triggers. The trigger won't. It's a fault in it. It'll, I can get it to stop it eventually. So it's got loose pins in it. 
when I deactivated it. But fucking thing's covered in dust as well. I'll just changed my bed sheets as well. There you go. Shit off my fucking bed. Right. Um, yeah, I've not seen that. Uh, don't tell me. When did I said <clears throat> that was East Germany, Mike? But who but who would win? Oh, oh, it was East German armor, was it? <laughs> oh, yeah, who would win? East German armor guy or US police? I reckon the US Detroit police guy. Because he could just at least sit down and shoot him in the legs. <coughs> Irishman said there was a serial killer operating in Germany during or before World War II. Interesting story, but no movie that I know of. He said, one thing I can't stand in films is when they zoom in on empty cases on the floor and they're blanks. Alex said, I come from Russia. If you're a real man, you have an AK-47 in one hand, vodka in the other. Um, I man said, okay. Just say, you dirty, stinking rat while holding it. <laughs> Fuck's sake. You dirty stinking rat. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'll get it. There's pins in here that move. One of them probably fucking moved that place. But you can eventually get it to work. Move from the spring. What spring? Thing, I didn't even know it's doing that. Okay, <laughs> get me out doing this. Ah, well, I'll get that sorted for next time. Don't need to cock anyway. <laughs> I'm mad. Glad you enjoyed it. I've uh, got oil on my hands now, have I? Jumbo Sabu said, put a deposit. He put a deposit on a blank firing MP40, semi-auto, though. I can't wait to get that bad boy. Might have to do a video when I get it, along with the other blank firing guns. You should do that, because I think people would enjoy that. You've got a fucking good collection, actually. Then said, nice job on the shed roof. Like, oh, thank you, Leonard. Yeah. That was hard work. My arms are still aching a bit from that, and I've got cuts all over my arms from it. But yeah, it's worth doing. Alex said, you that drunk that you need no armour because <laughs> you'd not feel pain. Yeah, exactly. Pete said, yeah, off that. If shotguns are empty, they don't cock unless you press up the loading plate. Yeah, this is a weird one. Where they've deactivated it, there's, there's like loose pins and shit and... You know what I mean, and it's just getting it. This has moved at some point. But I'll be able to get it eventually. It's just trying to do it on a stream, isn't a good idea. But it used to it used to do it when I first got it. Dumbledore said, bullshit, it needs some cable or jelly, man. I think it does. Dad said, that's the advantage of traditional double barrel shotgun. Can't jam. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Fucking thing. It's typical, isn't it? Again, if you hadn't mentioned it, though, I wouldn't even bloody know him. Down a little torch.
the only thing is peach half of the things don't work but it has got them on there but um the thing there on there no, i'll take the fucker apart later let's leave it That is a MagTech. I'll tell you, while I've got it down, I can actually tell you what it says on it exactly. So it's a Model 586. MagTech Model 586. Made in Las Vegas. You, got, you go now, Alex. See you later, mate. Yeah, like with my RPK, if you take the dust cover off, you can't put it back easily due to how they did the DAC. Yeah, I so said that used to do that all the time before, and I managed to... The, the pin must have fucking come loose again. Maybe it's even come out and I haven't noticed. Maybe one of these pins has come out and I haven't noticed it. Number Sabu said, the only worry is, mate, although they're UK legal, it still worries you. That you'll get unwanted police attention. Yeah. What well, them or your thing you was buying? Oh, the videos you mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll get you now. I know what you mean. Please, uh, please. <laughs> Pete said, do you have a pump unlock button next to the trigger guard? Yeah, there's, there's two things on there, but they don't seem to do anything for that. Well, it don't work anyway. <laughs> then said it with Warhammer. Yeah, that, that might work. Dumb Sabu said, my Mosberg 500 Diac does that if you don't take off safety release. Yeah. Right. Safety won't even go on. That's weird. Trying to remember what the fuck it was that you used to have to do. Oh well. I'll put that back up, otherwise I'm going to be fucking around it the whole fucking stream. <laughs> Someone better remind me to clean that as well later. Oh, well, that'll all be fucking damn rusty. Brett Fritz said, good luck explaining that <laughs> gun blue stains on your bed. Or it's a sign of a horrible disease. <laughs> yeah, luckily, I managed to wipe them off. Dad said, always the same. When things go wrong, they always do it in the most inconvenient, embarrassing moment. Yeah, exactly. That may have been doing that since the last time. Maybe one of the pins come out, but I'll, um, yeah. Iron Man said there's something menacing about a shotgun. I agree with you there. There is, isn't there? They just look. I've always loved a palm action shotgun. I love the way they look, the way they sound. Yeah. The one I'd always loved the most was the old Spaz 12, but the only thing I could get a Spaz 12 in for cheap was a BB gun. <laughs> Number so Bush said, made in Las Vegas, you might have to put a quarter in the slot to get it to work in. <laughs> get to work, mate. That way. Peter, not sure where my double barrel was made, but my under AK type 56 is Chinese Narinko. Yeah, clean it. Run me later. I'm not cleaning it on the string. Ian, you're right, mate. Yeah, my my um shotguns. I don't actually know where they're from. These ones. I probably did at one point, but I stopped fucking um. You know, I just forgot where they're from. If you look at me, I don't think they say on them. I'm gonna have a look. 
Well, it's quite a nice shotgun, really. It's got the, all the um, ornate engravings on it and that. But I don't actually think... Oh, no, there it is. Dunmark Kestrel. So it's a Dunmark Kestrel. But this um, was actually a cock. And dry fire. Irish said, Mike, have you ever made any nunchucks? I watched a video on a guy making a set and it looks fairly easy. Yeah, I've made them before. Um, but yeah, they are easy to make, really. I'll show you the DIAC on this if you want, because you can see it well on this. Let me just go on to this uh, thing where I can see the actual live picture. You can see the holes there. Yeah. T two. So many years ago, I fixed a transit van for someone, and he gave me a Wyrock air rifle as payment. I don't know what it had been done to it, but the power was out of power that was out of it was ridiculous. Yeah, fuck knows. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> I can say no more about that. But, yeah. Jumbo Sabu said, "My side by side is probably Spanish. Oh, the side by side is probably Spanish." Yeah. Um. Yeah, Dun, Dunmark and Castro. That's another fucker I've got to shoot. I better put this fucking back. <laughs> uh, clean to me, not shoot. I saw me have a shit falling down again. That's just, no, if I can just stay there this time. Pete said it's double barrel cocks, but only one trigger clicks. Well, he said the sawn off double barrel shotgun was always the British criminal's firearm of choice. That's something I would like a deactivated version of that. And you can get them, but they're quite dear now. Hey, I'll tell myself, oh, yeah, my new spec deact double barrel sawn off breaks, but doesn't cock and clip. And how much was that? It's quite a lot of money, wasn't it, for, for what it is. You know, that's, that's the price they are now, isn't it? But, um, yeah. Marcus said to T2, probably over 12 foot pounds. Ian said, got a lover, nice sawn off with twin hammers. Yeah, Holland and Holland or Purdy. Yeah, I agree with you there, mate. It's a 12 gauge with a rifle choke. It's quite a versatile hunting gun. Whole range of ammo can be shot. Yeah, exactly, Rich. T2 said, Marcus, it was. Couldn't advertise it for sale. Gave us part payment for something else. Noodles, you right, mate? Um, Double Star Boo said, yeah, Denmark and Castro are Spanish, mate. Just Googled it. But, yeah. Yeah, as I say, I ain't got a clue, really. Ian said, side by side, no comparisons in the look department. Uh, and over and under. I suppose it all depends what you like, don't you? I like I like all of them, single, side by side, um, over and under, pump action, automatic, all of them. Three hundred quid for sauna. Yeah, it's quite a lot, really, for you know. But that's what that's their price now, isn't it? Noodle said 12 gauge would kill any North American animal. Exactly. But he said, probably because I took it apart, um, it wouldn't open. I did the stupid thing of cock and pulling the trigger before it was assembled. Uh, it was a pain to fix and a shitty screw it. Yeah, it's annoying when you, things like that happen. That used to do that. That pump action used to do what it's doing now all the time. And I took it all apart. 
and I found I'm getting a bit of a recollection now what it is. I think there may be a pin in there with a little bit of a groove cut in it. And if that pin either moves or spins around, then it jams like that. But it took me ages. That's it wouldn't cock at all when I first got it. Just purely down because what they've done on that bit where the actual firing pin and all that is, uh that's actually been cut away at an angle behind it. So it looks all right there. And when they've cut it at an angle behind it, there's, you know, like bits missing or bits that can move out of place where, you know, it wouldn't have before. <laughs> Don't forget to like the stream, everyone. Get your merchandise in. I nearly bought one of Liam's um, stickers earlier, but my fucking um kept declining my fucking PayPal payment. Teespring did there's something there's some sort of fuck up on there. It won't do it to you lot, but it does it to me. Doesn't recognise my PayPal details for paying. <laughs> Richard said, Mike, you see the full brass shotgun casings look perfect if someone wants an old paradox rifle ammo look. I'll have to look into them. <clears throat> Ian said HW80, old school, one of the large piston, perfect fit for the English pennies. <laughs> yeah. Actually, we won't actually talk about that. I don't want to have a, I don't want to start a real discussion about um that. So we could get done for that. It's all right though, Ian. Um Dumpside Boot said I had all three on a shotgun license when I had one. Much preferred the over and under and double barrel or pump. Never had an auto uh, when clay shooting. Many places don't like a gun that don't break. I knew what you meant there. Uh, Briggs. And it's all right, Ian. I just thought, I'd, you know what I mean? Just to be safe. But otherwise, the other thing is what happens is you, we start having a whole big long conversation about it and it gets, you know, worse and worse and worse. So it's best to just avoid it in the first place. You know what I mean? Little Z said the Spats now has used semi auto shotgun. Evil bloody things they are. I can't remember the name of them though. Who said brass and copper slugs are very expensive? Now, Saiga, Saiga, is that how you spell it? Saiga, Saiga. Saiga 12, anyway. Might cut my hair tomorrow. I've got all of my clippers out today, took them all apart, um, cleaned them completely inside. Tried to put them back together how they're supposed to be in case something had moved oiled them and all that um yeah so hopefully one of the three will work now because my hair's getting uh, a bit too long for my liking <laughs> weapons officer to z have a look up the ks23 it's a 23 millimeter soviet pump shotgun recycled from a 23 mil tank aircraft bars i've never seen that either have to look that up ian what about those aa12 shotguns the other dogs bollocks or what big brutes made from quality stainless steel let me look that one up and i'll tell you if i've seen i probably have seen them a lot of the times i've um seen oh yeah that's yeah i've definitely seen that yeah that is a nice one i've seen them i can't remember what they're called after time what's the one you said liam ks23 oh nice that actually looks really fucking nice that does don't think that's sawn off one. Or are they all like that? It's like a fucking pistol grip one. Yeah, I had not seen them. Exit, you're right, mate. Um, Noodle said in the States, we can buy semi auto AA12 or AA12. I'm uh, never seen you in a hat, Mike. Do you wear a cap in the time? 
no uh, not really if the only time i ever wear a cap is if we go to the seaside and the sun's like constantly in your eyes the closest you'll see me to wearing a hat is well it is a hat yeah uh, that's yeah that's but you'll see me in a hat <laughs> Um, Double Sabu said, yeah, the Sega 0012 looks good. Same used in the movie Predators. Ah, nice, yeah. <clears throat> Pete said the rocket launcher is worth it, Liam. Yeah, not Z said, well, if maybe. As I said, I can't remember. It was years when I read about them. But as I said, they recycle 23 mil barrels. That would explode if high velocity... Uh, shelves were shot through them, so they ended up with retarding, powerful shotguns. That's weird, isn't it? Ian said, yeah, I've seen it in Predators. Adrian Brody had one. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Ian said, I still want a belt-fed 12-gauge shotgun. As I said to Peach, I may get one eventually. I was thinking about getting a Sten, uh, but they're all like 500 now. Yeah, the Sten guns used to be about fucking um, 150 quid, didn't they? Oh, and I watched that video you sent me. That was a very interesting, strange gun, wasn't it? That um, that strange Sten. I don't know why he called it a simplified Sten. I would have thought that was a more complicated Sten. <laughs> D2 it said, years back when my granddad passed away, my grand took his collection of rifles and shotguns to a dealer worth thousands. He gave her a few hundred quid after they sold them. What could she do? Well, I know it's one of them things, you know, it's not a lot you can do really, is there? And sad, really, isn't it? That that's happened. But that's what happens sometimes, isn't it? People are cunts who will rip people off. You know, real fucking shame. Pete said, yes, then it should be 50 quid. Irishman's an excellent hat choice. A handful of chains or a bunch of keys turn into a self defense weapon. Marcus said, Stan's cost 15 quid to make during the war, apparently. Ah, that's brilliant. Don't surprise me, because that was what they were made for. I want it to be cheap and, cheap and effective. Because the actual gun under all the wood has even less parts than the normal Sten. You know what I mean, though, don't you? Because the actual Sten's got less, but the gun's got more, you know. <coughs> but I know what you mean. Pete said, I watched that on my lunch, too. The Sten of the Bullpup style wouldn't stop. Yeah, it looked quite good, didn't it? He said the stun, eh? the stan, aka the walrus gun. I must watch said, Mike. What's a classic World War Two movie called? Where Eagles Dare? Great movie. Yeah, do you know what? I don't think I've seen that. Is that the one you like, Liam? That's your favourite war movie, isn't it? Exit. So I sold all my DX. Couldn't resist the profit margin now. Problem over here, mate. Half of mine, or well, no, all of mine. I can't actually legally sell now. What I would have to do is get them re-deactivated to today's standard, then I could legally sell them. He said, I sold a Colt 45 single action replica for 20 quid. Never holster, had rotted away. Double Sabu said, you can get automatic firing stands. I think they are made by some gun makers. They kind of muzzle flash. But done in a way that they don't front vent, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. So the, the muzzle flash is actually, you know, making it automatic. Which I bet the trigger pull was crap, though. Yeah. What on the uh, little bar that... Perhaps I said, yeah, and it has a few FS knife kills in it as well. Oh, what on Eagle's Dare? Uh, is that what's called? Where Eagle's Dare? Just his comment there. Yeah, where he goes that. I'll check that out. I'm pretty sure I've never seen that, though. Or not as an adult, anyway. If it's one of those classics that was always on the telly, I probably have seen it, but not what I... You know, when I say I've not seen something properly as an adult, it means I've never got it on DVD, sat down and watched it properly, you know, with my curtains shut and surround sound on and actually made sure I've watched it properly. Uh, 
going a bit quiet suddenly. <laughs> Have a look at this message you sent me earlier. Do the, uh, you know, the slow mode, does that actually work? That don't work with, um, slow mode doesn't actually work with the uh, mods, does it? You can keep writing, can't you? I just need to look for something quickly. I'll be here, though. I ain't going there, though. Ian said England can't even have a front bent uh, blank gun. You can't believe they banned their stuff in Australia, says Diva. Yeah, it's demented, isn't it? All of that stuff. Number said, yeah, there's a guy on YouTube who has one, but the blanks are not standard PAK blanks. Um, kept, down, kept down cycling issues for nearly a grand, well out of my price range. I say, yes, yeah, not for mods, and we can. Nice. What you need for me hanging for you two then, if you can keep. Fuck's <laughs> uh, Then he said to weapons and stuff. Uh, it even has a helicopter in it. It's the US 1950s one, but they could barely have a proper one. I can't think of other movies that have Germans using helicopters in World War II. I always went to the Where Eagles Dare is too long, and the castle escape is boring. This is, yeah, I can keep writing comments. <laughs> Mods power. <laughs> nice one. JBO, you all right, mate? Good to see you on. Yeah, I'll probably check that out soon. Sending some of the messages there quickly. I was asking if I had something. I was sort of looking in them drawers. I've just got to write something quickly. Back in a second, hang on. All right, back. Number so boosted the MP40 I have on order. Can't even have the venting system down the barrel. Like the old AK and M16. It is under the new law, so it can't be converted. Into a live firing gun. Oh, Electro, you're right, mate. It's good to see you on. <laughs> Captain Electro, he said, I'm going to listen because I'm at work at the moment. I forget you at work. It's, that, sound, that's, that keyboard sounds like a typewriter. <laughs> He's a speed type, you know, a one finger man. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm just slightly above you with two. <laughs> That's about it, though. 
I mean, let's check it all. It's written right. Rob Snyder, did you look up the Arvo card? No, I didn't actually. Oh, no, yes, I did. Yeah, you showed me the picture, didn't you, yesterday? Yeah, I have seen a picture of that. And I do actually know of that. It's, um, yeah. You know what? I'm in a really fucking weird mood now. I'm slightly pissed off. I think it's that gun. <laughs> and then I just had a strange comment off of someone who wasn't trying to be strange, but, no, oh, well. Fuck it, who cares? T2 <laughs> uh, says, so still think Who Does Wins is an amazing film before it's done. That I've got on DVD. I do like that because I love any um, SAS stuff. That is sort of based on a bit of the Iranian embassy, and it? Um, and some sort of other um, sort of made up kind of stuff. But yeah, very good. Don't sorry, Bush, Mike, I'll send you a video of what I'm getting, mate. If I've missed anyone's comments, let me know. Just put them on again. Roland said, got to shoot a spaz shotgun back in 1999, 2000. They were cool, but not that good. Yeah, I heard that. I didn't really know about that, but um, it was, I may have been um, weapons and stuff mentioned that, that, yeah, they're not that good, really. But when you see them in films, they look brilliant. Ian said he remembers the Arvo hover job. What was I said? Shotgun dysfunction. Can a doctor help with that? Don't know. Probably not. <laughs> Ian said classic. Even love joys in Battle of Britain. <laughs> JBO said one of my favourites is Wild Geese. Brilliant Merc movie. Now that I must have seen as well, but not to, um, not as an adult, you know what I mean? Oh, that's my coffee gone. Ritter said, had a laugh reading the forum saying Chrome, Chrome Vanadium. I think that's how you spell it. Uh, I think that's how you say it. <laughs> Wouldn't make a good sword steel because of the Chrome on. Uh, but on the same forum, people are worshipping AT CRV2 steel. When it's the same steel. Ah, fuck so. Yeah, it's typical, ain't it, Rich? Yeah, oh, that don't surprise me, mate. That don't surprise me. Yeah. That's sort of, that's getting on the point of steel snobbery, uh, but where they don't even know what they're on about, isn't it? <laughs> well, I'm sorry, I need to watch Battle of the Bowl. Battle of Britain again. I've not seen it in years. Wild Geese has a lot of gun porn in it. Dumble Serbo is a scent, mate. I've always liked the Spaz 12 with the folding stock. Yeah, that's the one I like, the folding stock one. Yeah. Yeah, Terminator, Jurassic Park. Um, and um, the one I always liked it in was, I think, Halloween 4, possibly. Or Halloween 5. Yeah, I read that, you know. Ian said, Wild Geese, come on, you beauties. Just for getting macheted. Yeah, I I spent a wild goose. Is that your favourite movie? Is it nice? <laughs> James, yeah, and lots of um, camo porn for the characters. Never thought about that, but yeah, Mark said Bridge Too Far is one of his favourites. I'm not massively into the World War Two um, war films. Uh, uh, purely because I must, I've not really watched the right ones, but I, I would like to see, sound a bit, it might sound a bit odd, but um, I'd like to see a dedicated English one, if you know what I mean, or British one, because the problem is a lot of, um, a lot of um, World War Two films revolve more around, you know, the Americans, and there's nothing wrong with that, but um, it'd be nice to see a purely English one, or not just English, British one, you know what I mean? And they do, they must exist, but I've not um, ever really seen one. Not from the old days, anyway. 
and again i've got nothing against um that but it'd just be nice to see a really good one like that well the funny thing is there's not many world war one films is there? no or if there are they're very old you know like black and white ones i think but yeah you're right there there's not a lot of world war one films tim you're right john you're right Weapons off said to Rich, I had a comment earlier saying, go back to school because I'm an expert and you are wrong. You're so wrong. I can't believe how wrong you are. You idiot. That's sad. <laughs> Captain Electro, War Horse is a good film for English battle. Uh, I'm glad you mentioned that. Thanks, um, Electro. Yeah, that's a good uh, That's a right, That's a good one. Yeah, that is one, isn't it? As I was, that's what I was going to say. They must exist. I just, I think the big famous ones. I'll tell you the war films I do like, though, and these would be nearly purely American, you know, most of the time. I do quite like a good Vietnam War uh, <coughs> film. <coughs> and I know we would have been fighting in that as well, you know, at, at points, and the Australians and that was, weren't they? And, you know, but yeah, I do like a, um, I quite like a Vietnam War film. I'm going to miss some of the comments. I get so behind. The ones that are just naming films, I'll probably skip for a bit. I'm sorry, Bruce said he likes a street sweeper with a fixed drum mag. Yeah, that sounds good. Dangers of the Fall, Equalizer. What did I say? He didn't tell me what I got wrong, though. He just corrected, just saying you was wrong, but never said what was wrong. <laughs> Fucking weirdos, isn't they? The Manacled Mutineer. Never seen that one. Never even heard of that one. Um, Richard said to Liam, came across this forum post, and I was just checking about the heat treat, and it was the same <coughs> as most of the chrome silicone steels <coughs> with the most spring steel using modern swords are made from. Yeah, Platoon. I like Platoon, and I like um, Apocalypse Now, Electro. Um I've got Apocalypse Now Redux, which is like the long version of it. I think it's got like 45 minutes added on. And that is just a lovely film to watch. It's really long. I think it's getting on for like three hours. But it's just really visually nice. It's visually nice. It's um, good music. I'm not really into that era of music, really. But the way it's put with those scenes is good. Yeah. We were soldiers. I I don't know if I've seen that one, JB. Is that the Mel Gibson one? If uh, I I think I have seen that actually. Though yes, I have, but only once. Casualties of War. I've watched once. Hamburger Hill. I've not seen. But yeah, Platoon. I do like that. Very good film. Do you want me to show you my war films collection? Let's see what I've got as far as war films go. I don't think I've got a lot. If I can find them. Fuck are they? Uh, I mean, all my bloody DVDs are all over the place. Ask me to find things, man. Right. There's a classic. That's I've barely got any war film. That's it. That's it for the well there I'm sure I've got more than that. That count as one. And I've said before my DVDs are a bit jumbled up at the minute. Noodles, a surfing bird, full metal jacket. I've got full metal jacket somewhere actually saying that. Yeah. So where the fuck's that? Yeah, I've got full metal jacket. 
Tour of Duty, Irishman. Yeah, I really used to like that. That was on, <coughs> I think, when I was about 14, 15, uh, maybe a bit younger. So around about 94, 95, 96, something like that. 93, like 1993, I was 13. I'm pretty sure I used to watch that for like on a school night, at, you know, at one o'clock in the morning or something on Channel 4, probably. <laughs> Or Channel 5, maybe, I don't know. No, Channel 5 would have actually come on later than that. If Full Metal Jacket, I should have that somewhere. I don't know where the fuck that is. Hamburger Hill, I'll have to check that one out. That does sound good. Carlin to Townsend on youtube as a channel on youtube he goes does cooking from what's that five o'clock or six o'clock or 1700 or 1800 and is in the years <laughs> don't know but i know what you mean well i don't know what you mean but i know he cooks stuff <laughs> Yeah, I should have full metal jacket, definitely. I don't know where the fuck that is. How long is this um, Apocalypse Now Redux? Let's have a look. 195 minutes. How long is that then? Three hours, 15 minutes, isn't it? But it's good. I enjoy every little bit of that, even though it's that long. <clears throat> Of oh, the years, oh, 1700, 1800 cooking. Nice. Then was Issa to Marcus. I wonder what would become of the younger generation. I don't know. They become the older generation and moan about the younger generation. Yeah, that's a good point, Dad. That's me. Pete said, I wonder if you'd go to America and shoot a real law now. I've had to train. <laughs> nice. Join the army over in America. Tim, you all right, mate? He said, The trench. Uh, the Trench was a reasonable World War One film. Daniel Craig and Danny Dyer. I've never seen that. Some said we should Mike got Rambo movies, mate. I'm not biased or anything. Do you know what? I don't have any of the Rambos on DVD, but I've got all of them. Partly because uh, Sam sent me the rest, but I've 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 had Rambo sort of downloaded for years, but I'm pretty sure I never got around to buying that on DVD. I always said Hamburg Hill was a major disappointment, so don't get your hopes up. <laughs> some saying are good, some saying bad. I'll check it out, though. I've got around... Who's ever heard of a bullet in the head? That is basically a... I don't know if it's Chinese, Japanese, Korean version of... You know, it's an Asian version of The Deer Hunter. Um, that's quite a good film, though. Ah, oh, War, I missed that. Zed, was that on recently? Like, you know, recent last couple of years. Weapons I said, Dead Birds about the Confederate soldier in the haunted plantation house. Oh, that reminds me. Um, there's another J horror. There's a Vietnam War um horror what that's called now jacob ladder i've got jacob ladder on dvd actually iron man yeah yeah i've got jacob ladder yeah that's quite good isn't it carl i said mark it's a good one he's been in the shop and meet some guys just spat an hour and a half from me Getting mixed up there, what that's about. Jumbo Sabu said back in the 1980s, there was a flood of um, Vietnam War movies here in the UK, blockbuster or swamp drill. Yeah, noodles, I got that. That's one of my, I fucking love the house films, if this is the one you mean. Some of these might come up on the uh, film uh, 
club if no one's watched them yet. There's four of them. Is that the house you mean? But if any of you have not seen House, um, House Free is quite good. Uh, it was noodles. Yeah, they're good, aren't they? House, I, I, I fucking really like all of them. Well, the fourth one's not very good, but the fourth one's actually a sequel to the first one, isn't it? Electra said, if you want to see a good old war movie, The Dirty Dozen. Now, that I have seen. Yeah, that is good. Yeah. Richard said, I only saw the first house. Well, the first one's good, Rich. The second one, the second and third aren't sequels to the other, if that makes sense. They're, they're just about, so the first one, second one, and third one are all about like haunted houses, basically. And the fourth one is a sequel to the first one. Um, but I think they're all good. The second one, yeah, is good. And the third, the third one's probably the best one, actually, I think. Yeah, House Free, or it's also called in America The Horror Show, I think. Yeah. They're worth watching, Rich. Dad said, sorry, I meant our World War. Yeah, I, I must have missed that. I, I haven't watched telly for years, really, properly. Ian said, John has a long moustache. What's that in? Um, Jacob Ladder? I don't know now. I was with, yeah, in the 80s, it was um, Vietnam movies and ninja movies, yeah. When was I, other than Cabin Fever series, thought of any more virus contagion type thing? No, I couldn't think of any more. I had a think and a look. Um, no, I couldn't think of any more than that. Scarecrows, which one's that? I keep thinking it's not that one with matey from... Um, the, you know the baddie from dark man he's in this he's in some film as a scarecrow isn't he the sort of disabled bloke mentally disabled bloke who they think they think he's touched up the girl don't know something he hides in the um scarecrow don't he? and then he gets killed but then he can come back or something that's not that is it T2, yes, I have seen that. Now, that's quite a rare film, I think, Shooters, isn't it? I tried looking for that, and I could not fucking find it. Because there's two versions. Um, there's another film called Shooters, which I bought, thinking it might have been... Let me just see if I can get that. Quickly. Now, the one I bought isn't the one. And it's fucking crap. Um, you, you don't mean this one, do you? And this isn't the one you're on about, is it? I don't think this is the one you're on about, anyway this not that is it it's the other one you're on about um but yeah i have seen that years ago yeah um shooters is quite a good film isn't it very re it's one of those quite realistic yeah i have seen shooters but not for fucking years but i still i think i've still got shooters on a VHS taped off the telly. But that's how rare I knew it was that I um, kept the old VHS of it because I knew I probably wouldn't get a copy of it again. I've got a couple of films like that that I've never been able to get hold of again. Yeah, that Shooters, that's good, that, isn't it? And I think some of the actors in it are actually aren't really actors, are they? They're actually sort of, um, you know, some of the people who might have been involved in that kind of stuff, weren't they? I couldn't get on with the fan uh, phantasm and sequels. I tried. That's something I want to watch. So if I do want to try them, the phantasms. I want to try them one day. You couldn't get on with them then, Riggs. The Dark Knight Scarecrow. Yeah, Knight of the Scarecrow. Yeah, cheers, mate. I always get that mixed up. Make you think of dark, yeah, dark man, Batman, yeah. Red Dawn, I've still not watched, but I've got it ready to watch.
Oh, how Mary, full of grace. That's from that's Robert Redford paddling a kayak in the bridge uh, in the in the bridge too far, is it? T series, yeah, there's allowed to ad lib the scenes with no script. Amazing film. It's very good, and I'll have to see if I can get a good enough copy of that T two. I might include that in the um, film club one day. There's a, cu a couple of films like that that I could guarantee most people wouldn't have seen. And if it comes to it, I'll upload them on YouTube myself as a private video. And hopefully they won't get um, copyrighted or whatever. Because if they're that rare, they probably wouldn't anyway. I've got another one. It's not It's not like that, but it's another film that I've, I don't think it's on proper video or um, DVD called Hard Edge. It's an English film about these blokes who go... Um, they go paintballing and they manage to piss off the other paintballers really badly and um it then starts some weird fight where the other paintballers actually get real guns out and say i can't remember exactly what it is but they threaten them with these guns and say you know they might start fucking hunting them down with these guns and they manage to get out of it but one of the other idiots nicks one of the guns and then they get sort of hunted by these um other paintballers but it's it's um english and it looks like it's filmed in like south of england it looks like the kind of area i live where it's filmed weapons after dark night of the scarecrow was the film that started the scarecrow horror genre it sadly didn't last long enough because scarecrows are scary yeah that they are quite a weird fucking phenomenon aren't they sort of thing for a horror um quite bizarre but yeah and you can make them very scary looking Iron Man said, would you rather fight a berserker with a three-inch knife or ten Spartans with, a, with an AK-47 or one mag? What is a berserker? A Viking warrior, is it? And I had a three-inch knife. <laughs> um... Or well, ten Spartans and you had an AK forty seven with one mag. I think you'd be fucked either way to be honest. Um <laughs> I think that's a case of how uh, pick whichever one's gonna kill you quicker, so you don't have to fucking uh, do that have to uh, suffer. Alvin says, Do you say they're bare knuckle looking? Those, I don't know. These are not easy to get hold of. My ex has the DVD of it. Oh, so you can get a DVD of it then? Yeah, I didn't even think you'd be able to. Rich said, I think some people look at stainless steel specs and think all steels contain chrome are bad choices for swords. In fact, there's, there's a lot of steel alloys with chrome that are um, better than carbon steel. Double Sabu said the new Charles Play movie looks good. Mark Hamill <coughs> at the voice of Chucky. The only thing I can't understand about that, <coughs> Riggs, is so they're going to do a new remake of Charles Play, but they're also going to carry on the other Charles Play films with Brad Dorif, whatever you, however you say his name. Yeah. <coughs> The only thing I didn't think looked quite good and that I think would have been better with this new child's play, the boy should have been younger, I think. <clears throat> he looks, he doesn't look young enough to be, you know, but and I don't know, but it does look good and I would watch it. JBR, have you seen Southern Comfort? Yeah, I've got Southern Comfort on DVD. Uh, not, yeah, no, I have seen Southern Comfort. I ain't got that one on DVD. I've got something else. Southern, what's the other one I've got? But yeah, I have seen Southern Comfort. I thought you meant this for a second. Um, where is that? I thought you meant this. Hang on. Where is it? Hang on, I'll be back in a second. Just 
My fucking DVDs went all over the fucking place. What's that fucking one? Um, oh, I can't remember what it's fucking called. Now. It's got Maury Chaik in here, not every calling, whatever his name is. <clears throat> Cold Comfort, that's it. Cold Comfort, you ever seen that? I think it's called Cold Comfort. Fuck's sake, no, what is it called? Yeah, no, it is called Cold Comfort, yes. The Cold Comfort from 1989. Yeah, that's good. Proper fucking weird, that is. Dumble Star Boots and Hulk to re watch the original director was a nuts, though, so I don't really like watching the show. What, mate, you did, um. Charles play. I did not know that. I'm way fucking behind on the comments. Might have to leave some. Rubs I've said that was my issue when I saw it. It was a VHS quality rip, so too dark to see what was happening. Uh Efekan, if that's how you say your name, hello from Turkey. All right, mate, sorry if that's been said wrong. And that just said, with an American mag, I've got 30 round mags for my AK. Right, we have to skip a couple of these. Yeah, Roman Plants, I know he's around. He's a fucking pedo, isn't he? Oh, no, Jeepers Creepers, yes, yeah, yeah. Yes, I, um, yeah, I do know about that. Yeah, it's because I've missed some of the thing. Yeah, what was you saying about Brad Dorif then, or have you say his name? Got any new project in the pipeline? Uh, the only thing I've got ready at the minute, um, Jim, is this axe will get modified into a throwing axe. So I'm going to get this paint off, reshape the blade slightly, reshape the handle, maybe fix it in better. Yeah, reshape the handle. So there's that. Um, well, actually, I've got a load, actually, but the ones I've bought stuff for recently... I've got to put a handle on this cookery that WS94 sent me. So I may uh, I may take the paint off. I don't know. But I might do a D-guard for that. Oh, I should have fucking read your comment then, yeah. It is by caffeine alone. I set my mind in motion. It is by the beans of Java that thoughts acquire speed. The hands acquire shakes. The shakes become a warning. It's by caffeine alone. I set my mind in motion. No, that's actually quite good. I saw the caffeine bit and I thought you were talking about bloody coffee. So I sort of didn't. <laughs> Fuck's sake. The Oodle said, I wish they'd make a movie about a posse that shows up at the end of Night of Living Dead. Jumble Sabu, what's the movie with Alec Baldwin and Anthony Hopkins when they have to fight each other to survive the wilderness? That was pretty good. Yeah, I know what you're on about there, but I don't know what this um what it's called. But I think what other um projects I got, Jim. I got there's quite a few knives I've got that I want to put handles on. Um I'm gonna make those armor pads soon when i um a couple of days into may i'll be able to get the patreon money and buy some stuff for making things he said another beast in jeepers creepers evil motherfucker <laughs> sign off with that kid i thought the first jeepers creepers film was all right there's parts of it like there's parts of it that are better you know it goes off the rounds a bit at points i think where it gets a bit um not quite as good but um i thought deep scriptures was worth a watch now the second one was fucking terrible and i think the third one is unwatchable but the weird the funny thing is the, the second one sets up 
what the third one could have been really good. Because it had Ray Wise as an old man who was going to hunt it down or whatever, trap it, or had trapped it, hadn't he, or something. I can't remember, but yeah. Most realistic horror film, in my opinion. Uh, Blair Witch Project. Um, <laughs> any of the found footage. Um, uh, but you don't mean those, do you? I'll have a look. Um, Wolf Creek, possibly. Um, quite realistic. Up oh, there's my horror films collection, if you wonder what I'm looking at there. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> What's the edge? I don't think I've seen the edge. Oh, the the thing with yeah. So I went to the cinema to see the first one. I, I wish I hadn't. I thought it was boring and a bit tame, to be honest. Uh, I said, first Wolf Creek is based off a real story. So I'll give you that. Look up Ivan Milat. I, I I looked that up recently. We must have been... Um, we must have spoke about that recently, either on your chat or something. Londinium Armory, you're right, mate. You said, just saw they live. They do, mate. We went... Live, a good time for me. Just put my son to bed and put my feet up. Nice, nice one. Yeah, they... I'm just... Sorry, I read that completely wrong. Just saw that I was live. We was talk, I'll tell you why I did that. We were talking about films, and I thought you were saying that you'd watched May Live. Just saw that I was live. Nice one, mate. I'll be on for about another 20 minutes. I was getting distracted. We were talking about films, and I thought you said just watched They Live. Uh, Richard said, wasn't there a Blair Witch Project game? If there was, I've never heard of that. Electro said, I would like to see some YouTubers remake the Blair Witch. Uh, not done that better. <laughs> well, I think, I think Blair Witch Project is one of those you either love it or you hate it. I fucking love the Blair Witch Project, you know. I think it's brilliant. Uh, but I know a lot of people who can't stand it. Yeah, that was because we were talking about films, Londinium Armory. I, I thought that's, yeah, I instantly thought, it, you said, I, I just watched They Live. <laughs> it's not a bad film, actually. The Grey, I've not watched. Ian said we were going back a few with Tom Berenger, mate. Yeah, Deadly Pursuit. He's good in, he's in Platoon, isn't he? Weapons is often, I wish there was more horror movie films that had a realistic angle to them. Rather than an, an, an unstoppable psycho. Yeah, I know what you mean. I suppose it all depends what you want, though, doesn't it? Because um, it, it all depends what mood you're in. I like those kind, but also sometimes you like a bit of escapism, a bit of just sort of mental. I do prefer, though, the horrors I like tend to be 80s and early 90s horrors. They're just done differently. You tend to like all the characters. The heroes are normally at least 35, 40. Uh, you know, look like they actually probably could defend people. You know what I mean? But yeah. Yeah, oh, I know what you mean. Yeah, it would be good if there was more of them. Yeah, yeah, more realistic ones. Ian said, remember Hammer House of Horrors with the doppelganger? I've got a doppelganger. 
<laughs> I see my doppelganger every day. P2 said uh, to Jumbo Sabu, the grey is a fantastic film. Yeah, that's Liam Neeson, isn't it? I've never seen that. Yeah, Ravenous. I'll tell you what, Ravenous I liked so much. I actually bought the soundtrack to that on, on CD. And Bone Tomahawk is very good. That was on Film 4 again recently. Yeah, I really like that. I'm a big fan of Kurt Russell anyway. So that was like a, a Western of Kurt Russell. Definitely watching that. And it actually is quite good, isn't it? Weapons have said Jumbo Turbo. One of the blokes in Ravenous was also a nonce. <laughs> Same one who's in Deadwood, sadly. Yeah, Bone Tomwalk is good, isn't it, Ian? It's got Matey from Lost in it, isn't it? Um, can't remember his name, though. Yeah, Liam, as soon as I read it's playing in my head now, now it is in mine. <laughs> I'd get my CD out, but it's in my box over there. All my CDs are in that sort of locked box over there that I use like a table. Jumble Sabu said to T2, like the park when the air stewardess is being eaten by, in her seat by the wall. That sounds good. I might actually watch a film after this because I'm, I'm not very tired. So as long as I pack up straight away, I might try and watch that um, someone's watching me. How long's that on for, Liam? About an hour and a half. Third Not Z said, to Jeff, what's the Mummy series of films? I thought the third one was a bit crap. No, I've never seen them. I think they came out about the time when I was drinking all the time. And I probably didn't watch a lot in them days. The answer is, well, they split him in two, Mike. Ouch. <laughs> yeah. A very good... Um, when that gets to that end and it starts getting proper fucking goring graphics, yeah, it's brilliant. Well worth watching. JBO, I've never seen Sniper. Definitely, funny enough, there's a lot more interest in those now about all the stuff surrounding the just blokes. London <laughs> Army Armory said, have you watched the old Chinese horror movies? Uh, a friend of mine has a ton of them on tape. We binge watch them. The horror movies are creepy. I don't know how old. I've got some of the sort of more modern sort of um, like the nineties sort of um, J horror and that. Um, I look up there because that's where they are. But, um, it all depends how old you mean. But I do like that kind of stuff. Shogun Assassin, yeah, now that's fucking excellent. Robin Tuff said, someone's watching me is about 100 minutes, I think. Irishman said, any plans on a joint stream of Matt? Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely do one with him any any day of the week. It's just um, when he wants to do it. Do you know what I mean? Because um, he's, he's, in, he's into his own stuff at the minute. And, um, yeah. But yeah, there's no reason I haven't. Just getting him to do it. Oh, yeah, saying, yeah, hang on, I'll get back to that. Will said any updates on the throwing axe, Mike? It'll be maybe next week. I had it in my hand ready. Richard said, wasn't Paul Rubens arrested for having inappropriate picture of children? Who, who knows, mate? Londinium said, these ones were from around the 80s onwards, all subtitled with flying vampires and shit. Now you say flying vampires, yes, I have seen some of them. Uh, not a lot of them, though. But, yeah, I have seen some of them. Yeah. T2 said to Ian, Two Faces of Evil was brilliant. Hammer's horror. Tom Serbu said, I love sci-fi horrors. Event Horizon. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I do like Event Horizon. I've got that on DVD. Weapons <laughs> I've said to Londinium are the Chinese hopping vampire. The Zanxi, I believe. Nice. Maybe I said you should do a throwing warhammer. I'll have to get that a go, I reckon.
Then not I hear there's a new movie coming out where a girl gets ass raped in an old car. It's called Shitty Shitty Gang Bang. <laughs> That's something Peach would have come out with. <laughs> now, Dinium said the weapons and stuff interesting. Dancio, I never knew there was a spirit Chinese mythology or creature. ABC's of death is messed up. Yeah, great complaint. If that's the one, hang on, what's that one? Let me check. Um, give me this a shot up. Yes, yeah, I have seen them, yeah. And is there a second one of that? If that's the one, each thing's done by a different director in it, and there's um, you know, the whole alphabet. <laughs> Let me just quickly look. Um, Yes, I have seen that and the second one and the third one. Yeah, they're good, aren't they? There's proper good directors in them as well, doing them. Zhang Shi, is it? And so don't expect me to fucking pronounce it right. <laughs> Still waiting. I'm still waiting to see the remake of Pet Cemetery. Yeah, I'm going to watch that soon. I don't expect it to be better than the original, but I think it'll be interesting and worth a watch. Doesn't look, certainly doesn't look terrible. The only reason I know it's called Zhang Xi is in Soma, the monsters in the flip ship have that name. Ah, oh, nice, yeah. I didn't even said now I'm going to be reading Wikipedia about Chinese creatures for a night for two hours. I love mythology and folklore. Do you know what? I get um I have a thing sometimes. I'll I'll start reading something on Wikipedia and I'll be on there for fucking hours and hours and hours. Just going from one thing to another to another. You'll be reading and you'll see something you can click. Yeah, open that in a new tab. Carry on down, open that one in a new tab, and then you'll finish that. Go on to one of them and after you know you've got fucking 15 fucking tabs open and you read the fucking lot of it i've i've read some really fucking bizarre fucking stuff that i can't even find again ian said there was a little blonde lad in the house that bled they're hilarious nowadays <laughs> i watched a trailer for a film earlier that at the um at the time it came out it was one of these banned films and the trailer for it now looks so bad that it looks like it's a joke. But at the time, it would have been totally serious. And didn't even say, yeah, same as me. I spend hours clicking articles. And that's it, isn't it? You know, you go from one to another to another. <laughs> I used to do it all day sometimes when I was hungover. Stuck on fucking Wikipedia all day long. Uh, weapons I've seen some shitty Godfrey Ho films with hopping vampires fighting Robocop as well. <laughs> so. Zardos, I was on about that to Liam the other day. I've not seen that, but I know of it. Actually, I think YouTube may be playing a little bit more fairly. Today I got a What You Missed list of web collector videos today on my recommendations. First time in a long time. Oh, that, yeah. yeah that's, a, that's a start, and it's a getting there, yeah. Problems I've said, ever been on TV tropes, Mike? Uh, that's even worse for sucking you in on the wiki. No, I've not been on there. You'll have to look into that. You'll have to send me a link to that. Maybe I said, that's like Pinterest. You're looking for ideas for one thing, and you come away with 10 different ideas. Definitely, Jim, yeah. 100% agree with you there. Um... um Jumbo said Boo said to me, I can't get over Terror Hawks was allowed to be a kid's show. It's quite scary. Wouldn't be allowed today, I reckon. Yeah, I've been watching um Terror Hawks a couple of months ago. Yeah, I don't I fucking it's horrible, isn't it? <laughs> I liked it as a kid, but watching it now, I don't know if you look at it differently as an adult. Fucking hell. It's horrible. Yeah. I agree with you there. Ian said Zelda, yeah, from um, Pet Cemetery. Well, my one of my sister, no, one of my sister, my sister, I've got to say, I've got one of my fucking sisters. I nearly said one of my relatives. My sister, <laughs> her name is Rachel, right? And in Pet Cemetery, like she keeps saying, oh, uh, Rachel, Rachel, don't she? Zelda does. And that used to give my sister nightmares, that fucking Pet Cemetery bit. 
Irishman, I'm looking forward to the Battle of Winterthur. I'm assuming that's Game of Thrones in it, which I've not watched yet, so no spoilers. I've not watched any of it, but I want to one day. You might have to send me that on um, Twitter, Liam. Ian said, remember Logan's Run, the series? I've never seen the series of that. Is that a film as well? Richard said, I was looking at Chinese pole arms on the wiki, but reckoned some pole arms weighed 74 kilogram, which seems too heavy. I wonder if they meant 7.4 kilograms. I reckon they do, because 70 fucking four kilograms is way too much. Isn't it? <laughs> YouTube live support. <laughs> oh, my <the> bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there was a troll coming on pretending there was some fucking uh, thing to do with YouTube. <laughs> Captain Scarlet, yeah, yeah, that you fucking Captain Scarlet with planes being flown into buildings and loads of people getting killed every episode. Yeah, fucking insane that was. That wouldn't be allowed. The APOs and I thought Terror Hawks from Red Dwarf. You ever seen Look Up Terror Hawks if you've never seen that? Fucking hell. Wurzel Gummies, yeah. That's bringing back memories. I used to like Wurzel Gummies, so. Uh... Nosy Bonk, yeah. Fucking Ashens kept doing Nosy Bonk stuff, didn't he? Uh, T2, so what's Hannibal, Holo, Cannibal Holocaust when I was at school with my mates was overrated. We waited weeks to get a VHS copy. That's, a, that's the case of a lot of those video nasty ones. They was um, <clears throat> not as good as you was expecting. And Dinium said, I doubt any battlefield weapons weighed that much. The heaviest I've seen is 15 pounds in weight from a um, large two-handed weapon. Yeah, they must have um, missed the fucking uh, decimal point or whatever it be. In the 7.4, then it, it couldn't be 70 fucking four kilograms. <clears throat> Weapons off said it has a U rate in one episode of it, as in throw an electrical cable on a puppet, he screams, sets on fire, and burns up. Yeah, that's mad, isn't it? Maybe it's because it's puppets, though. Maybe they think because it's puppets, people won't assume it's sort of real. But maybe it's when you're an adult, you look at it differently. But I know, you know, fucking Captain Scarlet, some of the stuff in that is horrendous. But maybe it is because you look at it as an adult, you look at it differently. Yeah, Cat Weasel. <laughs> we used to have an old bloke around here who used to look like Cat Weasel. But yeah, Cat Weasel was the one who would say, um, he used to call the telephone the telling bone, didn't he? And I uh, <laughs> used to think like the taps was magic and that, didn't he? Because wasn't he from like, you know, hundreds and hundreds of years ago or something? Double Star Bruce of Starfleet, probably before your time, Mike, was pretty dark too. Yeah, I don't think I've heard of that one. Yeah, Mary White, I've banned them. Fucking hate her. Londinium, 74 kilo was the weight of the average soldier right there, in armour. Yeah, so holding that on a pole. <laughs> yeah. Whether the team America should be you, then yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> Electricery, that's it. Yeah, ah, that's brilliant. <laughs> Bring it back to memory today. <clears throat> then, not Z said, I used to have Captain Scarlet novel. It was really nasty. There was a bit where Captain Blue was pissing himself laughing because Scarlet got flattened like a pancake. That's sake. Yeah, it's mad, isn't it? Um, when I said one episode, Captain Scott frightened me as a kid called Operation Time, um, where they use a reconstructed doctor to assassinate people during surgery. Fuck you now. <clears throat> when I said always frightens me the idea of being knocked off while on the operating table. Yeah, yeah, I think anyone could understand that one. Um, so Cat Weasel was the crow man from Wurzel Gummies. Nice. 
I can't remember the crow man in that, but I can remember where I was going. What was his girlfriend's name? <laughs> Ian said, crazy being walk about, rock, rock, and beetle. Oh, I've missed a bit there for yours. Richard said to Landinium, other sources reckon pole arm weapons like glaives and other slashing pole arms <coughs> weigh four to five pounds. <laughs> There you go to, to Zed. I just picked up a box set of Captain Scarlet from a boot fair, two quid. I got offered a great big box of DVDs for five quid at the car boot sale at the end of it, but I fucking I didn't want to carry it. Because <laughs> the blokes even said no one would take them because they wanted to carry the box. The other thing is, it was right at the end, we was leaving, and I didn't have time to actually look in it because it could be fucking empty. You know, it could have all been empty cases for all I know down the bottom. They're not these are the puppets series used to scare me. Torchy the battery boy, Sarah and Hopperty. <laughs> Bloody dynamic look demonic looking puppets they were. I've never heard of that one. Ian said we used to guess which way Wales would fall at the um the ending. Aunt Sally, that's it, fucking Aunt Sally. <laughs> fucking know Aunt Sally, yeah. So we was on about the other day because there's that new new BBC series called Ghosts in there. Uh, we're saying that it reminded us of um, Rent a Ghost. And Dinium said, "Yeah, there's average weight of pole arms. Even Warhammers weighed only two to three max. The heaviest extremes were found to be fifteen pounds, but those were very rare. Most weapons were lighter." Yeah, that, that sort of totally makes sense, though, doesn't it? Because you ain't going to want really heavy weapons. Dumbledore said, Bruce, I loved watching the series Buddy with Roger Daltrey. Yes, I remember that one. That's something I do remember. Yeah, Ch yeah. they made the movie with Chesney Hawks, one and only and all that. <clears throat> yes, that I do remember. That was good. Yeah. Teacher's first episode of Words of Gummy scared the crap out of me. That was he said, unless you want Nightmare Advice, not watching them. <laughs> <laughs> nice one Liam I'll have a look at those later that's the easiest way to send me links because I can actually if they're on here I have to scroll through all this again don't I well, it's 11 o'clock I'll stay on for about another 5 minutes as we're having a good chat miss pop off Rita said the glaive head I did weighed 1.9 kilograms so um, was within a historical weight. Dumbledore Boo said that was scary. Seeing Wurzel swing around on his cross, hearing the crows and that dark skyline was very spooky. Is that what the first ep first episode was like? Yeah, McVicker. That is um, one of my mates' favourite films. McVicker. Yeah, it's the clay pile. Yeah, what's with the clay pile? I mean, is that from Wurzel Grammys? I recognise that name. But yeah, McVicker's a good sort of prison, prison escape film, isn't it? And based on a true story, isn't it? And Dinium said, I do like glaives. I think they're beautiful. If you have any on your channel, I'd like to see it. Well, Richard makes them, Londinium. So sub to Richard if you want to see them getting made. And Weapons and Stuff 93 has just got one off of Richard. So he'll be doing some soon. So yeah, sub to them too, and you'll, um, you'll see the, the glaives. And what's he saying? Make Chucky look harmless, believe me. What's this? The puppets? I'm sorry, just bring back Metal Mickey, all is forgotten, or rent a ghost. <laughs> what's Metal Mickey as well? Because I recognise that, but I've never known what that's from. Oh, Miss Popov was rent a ghost. Yeah, because I was quite young when that came out, but I remember bits of it. Captain Scarlet, Blu-ray series, fully released now, 25 quid. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. Oh, we'll get released. Released now. We'll get the oh, you'll get the Blu-ray Monday. Nice. <laughs> yeah, Scum beats McVicker and Dan. I've got Scum as well. Uh, T2, yeah, I read that. Link. I think a mate of mine gave me two large bags of DVDs to bring to charity shop. Couldn't give them away. Everybody streams. Well, that's the thing. If I um, 
years ago i would have fucking bit that bloke's hand off for them dvds but um yeah as you say you can watch everything so easily now without dvds the only stuff i would and it, when i looked in the box i had half of them anyway the ones i could see but i know what you mean and didn't even sub to them have you yeah you, you should see yeah richard makes them and liam's just got one to um have a go with puppets I'll, i will check that out though that sounds interesting i've never heard of that what, what was it on like non, what is it a series i'm sorry bush's voyage to the bottom of the sea pretty dark especially the episode with the dolls with, um yeah, never i've never seen them fizz bombs yeah fizz bombs yeah now that rings a bell yeah natural quadrophenia Oh, Metal Mickey, that's from that as well, from um, Rent the Ghost. Or am I getting confused now? <laughs> Fuck's sake. This is, I've got a short milk dog cutting demo of the glaive. It's my first attempt of, attempt of the glaive. Lucky, you're right. I know what I'll end up doing now. I was going to watch a film. Right, I'm going to have to do at least 10, 15 minutes of clearing up. <laughs> I'll end up having something to eat. I shouldn't mention food at the end of the stream. Um, and then I'll end up on the fucking uh, internet looking at the fucking puppets and all these links that Liam's sending me. So, yeah, I'll start wrapping it up now. Don't forget to watch the blob if you can watch it so that you can join in with the um, film discussion thing. I know at least one person's watched it, which is that's good enough for me. <laughs> Who said they watched it? Was it Leonard? Um, one person said they've watched it. So, yeah, that's good enough for me. I can have a discussion with one person at least. <laughs> No, the the other one, the nineteen eighties one, Jim. And if you what, if you go onto my film club video, I've left two links on there, one for YouTube and one for um somewhere else. I won't say on here. Thirty six likes, yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, the remake, the remake of the Blob. Yeah, don't forget to like before you all go. Oh, yeah, Liam watched it again, didn't you? Yeah. Right, yeah. So I'll be on again tomorrow. Most probably. I'm not, I don't plan to do anything tomorrow, but um, you never know because this is the sort of weekend before my birthday. So, um, yeah, you never know. I might want to do something tomorrow night, but I highly doubt it. I ain't got nothing planned, and I'm not really in the mood anyway. Yeah, cheers for watching, everyone. Don't forget the like just before you go. Been another good stream. Uh, <laughs> I've got a bit of... I was in a bit of a funny mood for some of it, but I think it's got the fucking... Because of that fucking shotgun. <laughs> yeah, all right. Thanks, everyone, for watching. See you later, everyone. I appreciate it. I've got the blob on VHS as well. The, uh, the remake one anyway. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate it. See you later. I'll see you tomorrow about 9 o'clock. 9 to 11 again. Thank you.